Hi Aries, this is an urgent message for Aries. I was supposed to be doing Earth and the Air today. I'm probably gonna have that out. I'm gonna have Air out later, but this was urgent. I was really feeling this was expressly for someone else. Please see part one. Um, for some reason, I can't do videos longer than 15 minutes even though I've been approved with YouTube. I don't know why that is. I think it's my um, ancient Google account. So unfortunately, these videos are only always, for the time being, at least gonna be 15 minutes or less. Okay, so finishing up part two, um, you've gotta start, stop doing this, Aries, putting faith in someone, a stranger perhaps, outside of yourself. You can hope people will change or be more optimal, but you can't place all your eggs in one basket with someone else and hope and pray that the worst won't happen. This toxic optimism is something to be aware of and make your friend by learning about them rather than being the living embodiment. You don't have to live other people's excuses for them. It feels like tons of psychological projection is going on and you are letting them. You are the sacrificial lamb for a spiritual movement you are a part of, and this is scapegoating and is abuse. This is, this is abuse. This is not a happy group dynamic is what I'm getting. And, um, and you are not going to learn anything good from someone who refuses to learn themselves. So... I'm getting a lot of visual metaphors with people wearing noise canceling earphones or earmuffs and their eyes are closed and they're wearing mittens to even dull their sense of touch and they refuse to see what is right in front of them, which is a lie. So this feels like you're literally about to escape from a cult and I wish you wellness in that regard. Um, I'm getting you are magnetized to a lot of people in severe denial whose worlds you have to cautiously hold up, promote like a PR campaign manager just to get through life because their authoritarian cult leader status in your life is enough. If I'm going to pull the wool off your eyes, I would say you are living in a cult. That's what it sounds like. That's what it feels like. And you've been culturally indoctrinated to behave this way due to severe punishment um, if you don't do as you're told. And I'm saying this is a, this is human slavery, not enlightenment. That's what it feels like. And it needs to stop. You need to get off the roller coaster or of feast or famine with this person or group's affections and attentions. It is manipulation, not love. If you need help with resources, I can help you identify this mental prison. And just so you know, off, offices and work environments can start to feel like a cult as well. Um, that's why it's called corporate culture. The end, I'll speak with you next week. So that was an important message for one or more of you right now that I got earlier today, or rather yesterday, I'm recording this late on the 11th of August, I think, or early on the 11th of August, rather. And I just got this urge to write this, like this was spirit guiding me to write that for someone about sharing some of my experiences without going too much into detail and just being bullied um, extensively, a lot, that I was conditioned through childhood experiences, not just from my family of origin, but from my friends as well who were horrific and awful and narcissistic and played the victim and knew it were mostly covert narcissists who knew how to play work the system and uh, so I know very well what it's like to grow up in a cult-like environment and it with filled with group think and limited thinking and uh, zero empathy meanwhile every single one of these people thought they were the greatest thing on earth. I mean, some of them hated themselves, but they were so narcissistic that they were all about getting that supply, getting that attention by hook or by crook. And I was, for whatever reason, I was a direct threat to that. I was a source of great insecurity for them. And I was often the target of a lot of bullying. And it didn't stop when I grew up because my family of origin taught me 
to never say no and to always be pleasant and nice and not everybody's like you Anya not everybody has your personality not everybody blah 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 like leave it to my family to turn a positive into a huge negative right um, because my family was silently um, jealous of me and you know um, family members had murderous envy of me that they couldn't acknowledge or admit because uh, I got to live a life that they didn't get to live at their at my age when I was there when they were my age at that point and so I didn't realize what that was I didn't know that that was actually envy and it took me a long time to accept that that's what it was and so Aries you need to call a spade a spade you need to say this is what this is because narcissists one of the signs of a narcissist is pathological envy and group think kind of operates that way people are extra cowardly in a group because they think they can get away with more with little jabs and hidden things and that's why I avoid groups a lot because it's true they become toxic very quickly the well gets poisoned very quickly and people become insane they become either um, trying to recreate their childhood conditions of neg emotional neglect and not getting their needs met by pouring it into a great leader authority figure and I know guilty as charged like I was one of those pathetic codependents who was like you know, lapping at the anus, forgive the terminology of, you know, this or that cult of personality my whole life because I was entrained to do so. And it was trauma based. Uh, you know, somebody, somebody was constantly putting their boot on my neck in one way, shape or form or another my entire life. And uh, my mother in particular solution to that was to put me in therapy. Never the people who were abusing me, but me so that I would have better coping skills and uh, they in turn would force me to be friends with my captors so that they could uh, have social status with their parents which was a form of torture it was emotional torture it was horrible and um, I had to hang out with my abusers who I was forced to call my friends and put up with their narcissistic shitty ways my whole life not everybody's you not everybody's had your good life not like my life was so great but you know what I mean um, these people were mostly fragile narcissists or displayed I can't diagnose anyone I'm not qualified to diagnose anyone but they were hugely showing off huge narcissistic traits and they would play the victim and it's a form of narcissism called covert narcissism and cults thrive on that shit Cults thrive on that shit. You need to learn about psychology. Unfortunately, most people in the New Age movement uh, regard psychology as the tool of the New Order, New World Order, and um, is part of the downfall of society. And that the aliens are going to save us. I mean, it's the same dirge I heard over and over and over again. And the government is not your friend, and it's all a mind control experiment. And I'm in an actual secret project again you're not ready for this conversation most of you but i actually i fell into that cesspool precisely because i had a number of unexplainable incidents my entire life actually that i did a timeline on but but there were a cluster of incidents that happened um, at different points in my life after i was a test subject for an experiment on i kid you not telekinesis at um, the university that I was a student at in 1992, I think. And it, it harassment started around, and experiences started around 2008. And you can look me up online, but people's, like, people looked at me like I was a sideshow freak when I made the horrific decision to do interviews with pe the conspiracy world about it. And um, that was at the bequest of one of these narcissists I'm talking about, just absolutely lacking empathy and concern for me and placing me in peril whenever possible. And for those of you who are in a cult, I mean a literal cult right now, sneaking away from your dear leader, just get out, like walk away barefoot if you have to. Just get away. These people are dangerous and they will harm you. And I don't know what it was, but I was like gripped by the throat, by spirit this morning or earlier today about, you know, dear Aries, something like that is happening to you, whether it's in the work environment or not, this is really serious and it needs to be nipped in the bud immediately. You are in a cult. 
I don't care what you call it. If it's a spiritual movement, whatever, I need you to see the Lionsgate thing too because I'm going to name names about some dangerous people and I pray to God it doesn't have anything to do with them, but um, I'm being guided to do this right now. Uh, so check it out and stay safe. And if you need help, I might be able to provide resources for you, but if not, I'll ask around. If you want to um, DM me on Instagram, the link's down below if you can get access to that. And I pray to God you're safe. If, in fact, you really are in a literal cult situation and it's not a metaphor. Um, you need to wake up, face reality. This is not fun anymore. This is not a joke. This is, I'm completely serious. One or more of you is embroiled in a cult and you need to get out now, sweetheart. The dear leader or the dear philosophy or the dear spiritual group is not going to save you. They're going to use you as a scapegoat. Uh, trust me, I've been there many, many times in many different versions of reality <laughs> with many different people and it sucks. It's horrible and it re-traumatizes what probably you already had as childhood trauma that you have probably not even begun to process yet. And what you're doing is as trauma goes, because I am a trauma informed uh, psychic medium, because I've walked that path, I know it intimately. Okay, I'm not a, uh, uh, someone who stands by and watches. I've lived it, I've walked that path. Um, you are unconsciously trying to recreate the conditions of your childhood because as dysfunctional as it was, it meant survival. So you as an adult, whatever the conditions were in your childhood, you will try to find partners, friends, uh, jobs even with that kind of toxic environment or depending on your situation, one or any or all of the above. Um, and your relationships will be probably very bad and you will suffer. And I don't want that for you. So, you know, if you want more, if you're not in a literal cult and you do have a savings account and you're able to <laughs> provide an energy exchange, as the New Agers say, um, I'm happy to help you out with a session. Um, otherwise, I would just uh, be happy to you know, help you find resources if you need help. DM me on Instagram if you need that. And um, otherwise, I hope everyone is safe and sane and doing their personal work um, in a way that does not re-traumatize them or recreate the conditions of their childhood. And if you need help with that, again, I'm not a qualified licensed medical or uh, mental health professional, but I am a trauma-informed clairvoyant and I can help you out if other forms of that kind of stuff have failed you. Take care, stay safe, I'll speak with you soon.